So we are here at the fall uh, Chromebook showcase event that Google put on. Uh, and the timing of this is a little strange because there's a week long embargo. So as you're seeing this video, uh, we'll actually have our unboxing videos out of the new hardware that was shown off here. But we wanted to make these videos too, uh, basically to just kind of give you a hands-on, like real-time reaction to two new Chromebooks that were announced that are uh, both pretty unique and uh, pretty cool and pretty exciting. And so uh, for this video, we want to talk a little bit more about the brand new Lenovo Chromebook Duet 11 inch. All right, so this is the new Lenovo Chromebook Duet. 11 inch technically <laughs> is in the title, uh, but it's kind of the spiritual successor to the original Lenovo Chromebook Duet. Now we had the three and the five that came after, and this one honestly feels a lot more like the Duet three uh, than anything, but uh, there's some nice additions here across the board, including a much faster processor. Uh, this keyboard that feels a lot like the Duet threes. I mean, the action here is actually really nice. Um, I don't think, yeah, there's no backlighting here on the keyboard, but yeah, the, the keyboard itself feels really good. We don't have a trackpad wiggling all around, which is nice. Um, you know, it feels like a keyboard cover, um, but it is spill resistant this time around. So if you were to tip your coffee over on it or something, uh, it can handle that without uh, completely flaking out. But let's look around the outside real quick. Um, you're gonna notice obviously a pin here. Uh, there's a spot in the casing on the outside that kind of almost looks like it was there to like pinch the pin. Uh, not the case, I think it's just there to add a little extra support. It's magnetic, drops in there. This is the Lenovo USI uh, 2.0 pin. Uh, it does not come with it, so you'd have to purchase this. I wanna say it's like, I, I don't wanna <laughs> hang myself on that. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's under 100 bucks. I wanna say like 70, 80 bucks, but I could be wrong on that off the top of my head. Uh, but obviously the back, just like every other duet, comes right off. So let's go ahead and take the keyboard off so we can kind of see this device. And if you've, you know, seen a duet in the last couple iterations, this should all look very familiar to you. You've got pretty big speaker grills here. Uh, we're not in a spot to, this is all in demo mode. So software wise, I'm not gonna really mess with anything, but uh, headphone, microphone jack, USB type C. There's a USB type C up top too. We'll get to that here in just a second. Volume rocker. You do have a privacy shade here for the camera, which is nice. I'm probably blowing the screen out. See if I can crank that down. Um, so you can see that privacy shutter. Um, it's a manual one, so it's not like a software button. It actually covers it up. Uh, and then your speaker grills and your magnetic stuff down at the bottom. So another thing with the back casing here that's pretty interesting, if I can get the thing picked up. You can see it's a diagonal cut here on the hinge. This breaks my brain. I, this seems like it should wobble, which tells me I'm not good at geometry. Uh, it does not wobble, obviously. Uh, but what this allows for is a much wider base on one side, which allows you to do that with it. Um, so if you wanted a vertical second screen, you're going to hook it up to a monitor or something, or you're showing off something. I don't know. There's a handful of use cases where this would be cool. And that's where that other USB type C comes in. So if you're using this, say at a desktop setup next to your big monitor, you could run your USB type C out. Uh, it has, it supports this chip, I know at least, the, it's the Campagno um, 838 inside here, uh, supports up to uh, two 4K displays, uh, 4K60, so it would be able to push, I think, most monitors. Um, you got the, the, the camera module there on the back, it's actually an 8 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel on the front. Um, we'll obviously be testing that out to see how well that goes, but you know, if you've handled a duet before, this just feels like a new refined version, kind of a rubberized texture on the outside. It's compact, it's gonna go where you need it to go. It's got an updated processor, again, Companion 838. I'm super hopeful that that adds some uh, additional performance. But uh, until we get our hands on the, you know, our, our full review units, um, I'm gonna hold off any comments about that. But it's an exciting new Chromebook from Lenovo. Uh, we're excited to see it. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to ring the notification icon as well. If you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one, and make sure that you get subscribed for sure to see the hands-on unboxing video of this and the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook as well.